Hello all, Seriously is here, back again for some more permadeath, and I have spent uh, literally all day, pretty much since I woke up this morning, trying to get a ship to spawn in S-Class, and it took about 12 hours to get it to spawn. It's ridiculous how much time I've spent trying to get an S-Class to spawn in a three-star economy. I've never waited this long. Well, no, I've I've given up on ships after about this much time before. But I really wanted this one because I saw it, and I was worried about forgetting the star system behind. It was one of the reasons I noted this star system but didn't save the name. Uh, I believe back when I found it, we were having problems with Discovery Services. I wasn't sure it was going to stick or not, so I didn't name it for the ship. In the process of me spending all day trying to get my new ship, second ship, I'm not going to scrap this one, we've put a lot into it, I have also gained uh, quite a bit of technology and modules and, oops, wrong button, these storage augmentations, 15 of them from scrapping other A and S class ships I have got along the way. Uh, yeah, so we're going to upgrade our main ship first and then put a couple more of them into the new ship just to give us a couple slots in the technology section because we're going to be using it to uh, traverse the well galactic center black holes etc etc anything will that will damage our ship we're going to switch to that ship first and let it get damaged then we can call this one in and fly away scot-free well we'll have to repair our ship back when we get back to a freighter but that's small potatoes so that, that's not a saying Anyway, let's upgrade this thing and not scrap it. That would be disastrous. I'd have to load my save. Uh, augmentation. We're going to finish off technology first because we've got five more slots. And yeah, I think I'll put five here, especially if they go all the way straight down. That's great. If it went like one, two, all the way to eight, I'd be like, nah, nah, nah. Okay, perfect. Yeah, I did want to leave right there anyway. Uh, this is the other ship that I got. A nice <clears throat> full red Radiant Pillar-esque with uh, my favorite style of wing uh, for fighters instead of the a little bit more ostentatious Radiant Pillar wings. They're a little bit uh, flary. I like these ones. They remind me of uh, paper airplanes I used to make when I was a kid. The nose, obviously, is a little bit different than the paper airplane that I make, but it's a rated pillar, basically. And a lot more red. Uh, I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. I had to get this in S class. Finally did, but it only comes with four slots here. We want to move basically everything over there to protect it for when we warp. So, especially the launch thrusters, because that way we can call the ship. Uh, now these still probably will break for mission purposes, like if we switch to this for Atlas missions where the ship breaks and we're not allowed to uh, summon it to us, it will still break this, but it will protect it from actually traveling through galactic centers and black holes. And I think both of those, definitely from black holes. <laughs> uh, yeah, may as well put the hyperdrive there too for now, but we're going to go back over to the terminal And uh, I'm going to keep the ship, it's S-Class already, so I may as well just put these five modules in there. I think we've gained enough slots on the main ship for now. Ten slots is a great upgrade, especially since our tech slots are now maxed. Uh, augmentations, alright. Uh, yep, there, there, there. No, nope, we're going to go back, and we're going to get one, two, there we go. <clears throat> Perfect. Okay, I'm going to hop onto this ship, and before I get into it, move everything over. Whoops. What about, no, no, that's not right. There we go. 
it's hard to use the uh, hot buttons to move back and forth since they also select stuff and install stuff. And if you're targeted on the menu, like if I can select it right here, it will work if, I've, if I'm holding something, but I'm hitting it now and it's trying to install stuff now. So I have to hold it down to pick it up. Now I can move freely and place it down. It's really complicated to use the hotkeys. Sometimes it's easier just to click. Sometimes very much envy people using controller because I'm sure it's a lot easier to move through menus. I can see yeah, sword moving through them very quickly when he's trying to transfer stuff from one place to another. All right, we are done with this system, possibly forever. That's really why I wanted to note it. It is a three-star economy, but it's a GEC system, and it's uh, way in the distant past. We're moving forward. We're heading to ice time eventually, possibly this episode. Uh, probably next episode. Alright, space stations. I'm headed to... What's the name? Oh, I'll recognize it when I see it, I think. Uh, yep, that's the one. Transmission coordinates. It's where we got access to the Oceans of the Deep mission after following the Atlas path. And that's where we're going to continue on today. Do a little bit more Atlas Path missioning. If I recall correctly, um, there are not 16 warps involved in the Atlas Path. I think it's something like 8, maybe even just 6 warps in the Atlas Path that you need to do. Is it 6 stations, 8 stations, something like that? It's not a full 16 warps, so the Atlas Path will finish up faster than the Purge missions that we're on now. Doing it at the same time if I recall correctly. Alright. Now, another couple things that I garnered while going through these uh, space stations looking for that ship, because I only noted that that ship was in a three-star GEC economy, so I had to find that system first, and then I spent the rest of the day re-rolling over and over and over again while, you know, eating lunch and breakfast and dinner and such, but taking my breaks, but oof, all day re-rolling for one ship. I don't think I'll do that again unless it's something even better. <laughs> Which will probably just be the next one I find that I like. Alright, but I did get a bunch of modules that I was missing since I noticed that not only did I have a bunch of empty slots here already, but I was getting storage applications, and I was going to have even more. So let's install those. I already have three S-Class of those. Whoops, see that's what I was talking about. Hotkeys. Just work. Thank you. Uh, I can install the weapon technology over here and have it work in tandem with the ones that are already installed in the main panel. I think for now I'm going to leave the hyperdrive and the pulse engine installed over here. We'll see. And finish off the shields. I don't have any installed over here yet, so let's do that. Oh, right, and I figured out something that I need. Uh, not weaponry. This thing, Tritium Hypercluster's four. Uh, so I need one more. I only have two. Of course, of course I only have two. Okay, well, we'll pick one of those up along the way. Uh, that'll go great with these here. We need two more of those. Where will I ever get two more of those? Whoops. Come on. Hotkeys work. There we go. Uh, I guess that leaves me with one extra shield, unless I'm counting wrong. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, that will do. Okay, we're <laughs> getting pretty ridiculous. That's probably more than, I think, 320 might be maximum. So do these get better? No, they're all 30%. That just must be based on my uh, default shield. It's probably not a perfect roll or something like that. Maneuverability is doing great. I picked up uh, a couple of 12. No, that's an old 9 slot. There's the old 6 slot. I guess I installed it over here. Uh, 12%, and I think I already had another 12%. 11%, and 11%, no, no, that's the new one. All right, but we're doing pretty good. Almost, almost, let's just say almost 900. 
<laughs> Not quite. All right. Uh, anything else left to install? I can move the stuff around better, but uh, for now, that's like good enough. These I can roll to see if I can get some good additions, but for now, I'm pretty good with uh, that range. We don't need more than that to go to the next Atlas station. Let's put it that way. So I think we're ready to roll. Let's head to the next Atlas station just like that. And along the way, we'll shoot some asteroids. Try to pick up another cluster. Uh, and all that module will do, besides give adjacency bonuses, is uh, increase the efficiency of the pulse drive, this thing. Like that. So we won't waste as much fuel while we're using it. And it could increase our speed a little bit by, you know, the adjacency bonuses, but I don't think it's going to be... Uh, that noticeable. Unfortunately, getting there we go. There's the hypercluster. Now, let's head on to the next Atlas station. Uh, I believe we're going to have to actually manually change to that lot mission. Because we are on the purge. Yes, indeed. There we go. And it should find the next nearest one for me. Don't have to go to the anomaly each time anymore. I believe that was the case when I first started the game. Uh, to find the next Atlas station, you had to go visit uh, Polo each time. And he would find the next one for you and mark it. And now the mission just shows you where it is if you pick that mission. And sometimes if you don't. Uh, once our economy, of course. Oh well. well, we won't be wasting any time with the space station on this one, which is a bonus. I've also been thinking of skipping the words, but on the, on the other hand, I've also been thinking of skipping the Atlas Path missions until after I've gone through and learned all of the Atlas words from uh, places on the planets. The, uh, what are they called? Oh, there we go. Ooh, nice background. High conflict level. All right. And make sure we got our glyph again before we head in here. Yeah, there we go. One more to grab, but we still have to do all the warping. But after we finish, finish these Atlas stations, it should go much, much faster. Shouldn't need... Ooh, I like the Atlas uh, interface here. It's a little bit too centered, I think, but, uh, yeah. Oh, that's a better shot, actually. I like that. That Alice looks really cool. Some of them are really creepy. We'll see some good ones along the way. This one's just like a big black hole. But if you also note the shape behind it, that makes the, uh, the Atlas. Okay. One word, I'm gonna try to keep track of how many words I learned. But I'm not doing good at noting it manually. Did I grab that? Okay, yeah. I sort of wish there was an ongoing tracker for Atlas words, like there are for uh, the various races. Apparently there is such a tracker somewhere in your files, but I'm not too that invested in finding it. Uh, I just wish you could access it in the game in your milestones or discoveries page or somewhere in there. That'd be nice. Oh, does that not count? Am I too far up? Oh, that's not. All right, fine. That's why. <laughs> all right, I think we got them all. Yeah, except well, the ones on the way there. Oh, missed one over there. A couple over here. We and we. Alright, that's about it. 
couple more warp cells. Oh, and you know what I did not check last time, like I said I was going to? Speaking of discoveries, no, milestones, that's the one. Okay, so I won't be able to do all of these yet. I'm going to need uh, nine more milestone points. So let's take a look and see what I need. Uh, collector, I've only done two of all planets, so that's an easy one to make. I need to do one more. Actually, I believe every single one of these is just going to be one more planet. So I can focus on that. I need two more warps. That's pretty easy. I'm going to get that along the way. Uh, how close am I? That's a couple days spent. Nope, let's not do that one. A couple more sentinels. That's not too bad. These are maxed out. Learning words and meeting aliens. That's a couple of easy ones to do. We've got lots of room to grow there. We only need to meet one more alien. Okay, so let's learn some words on our warps. Next three-star economy we find, we're going to meet some aliens. That's the plan. Endless Rofos. All right. Well, we know some of these words, although the Artemis translator might be translating some of them, now that I know some. So, again, since I don't have access to the dictionary of words I do know, I can't tell which ones are being translated for me and which ones I know. Uh, yeah, I consent by having the milestone. It's only the last milestone that I'm not going to be able to get with 71. I think 80 is what you need to finish. Oh, it does say Atlas Sequence 2 of 16. No, that's the Purge. That's the Purge. Okay, we're back on to the Purge. That's why it says that. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. But it's nice to know that you do make safe points on board Atlas stations. I wasn't sure of that. I assumed as much, but uh, okay. No, no, over here. Technology. There we go. 886. Yeah, that is almost 900. Now that I've got that uh, up and running for the adjacency bonuses, that's nice. I'm sure I could play around and probably increase that a couple more points, maybe just a couple of point decimal points, but. Uh, a little bit more, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We've got lots of maneuverability now, lots of control of the ship, much more than before. We're doing great. Uh, how much damage do we do? Let's get in a fight somewhere. Come on, pirates. Where are you when I need you? <laughs> All right. Well, we're not sticking around the system. Don't want to explore yet. Thank you. Where are we headed this time? Oh, wow, that's really close. Usually it gives you at least two warp uh, points in between where you're going, no matter how far the next one away is. That's nice. Suyu Yao. I think that was two-star economy. And when I warp in, I'm going to check my... Inventory page after I double check that it's a two star economy. Two planets, comfortable economy, yes, okay. So let's check this. Um, okay. Get my last glyph. All right, yeah, there we go. Perfect. Perfect timing. Got the glyph. So down when you see the mission on the, the bottom of the corner there, it says the purge out the sequence 3 of 16. I guess the face is the, or the totem, whatever you want to call that one. The mirror, the reflection, I think, is the official name of it. Uh, that one is the third glyph. So I've got all 16 now, but because I'm on the third part of the mission, it's showing the third glyph as the mission icon. Atlas word for beyond. Well, we're beyond beyond. We're now in origins. So we're sort of before beyond, but after beyond. Everyone loves a good origin story. 
That's a pretty cool looking atlas too. Very uh, sentinel-like actually. All right, we've got a lot of ones down the center this time. I wonder how many of them are words. Okay. Beyond, B. Oh yeah, we're learning words here too, so we don't even have to meet aliens for that milestone. That's great. And I am remembering to keep an eye on my life support. <laughs> Although last time it was drained because we had uh, been teleported by the Atlas for story purposes. And we'd been in space and it had drained there. And uh, for some reason it doesn't recover on here. Looks like it's not actually consuming either, no matter how much I run or jetpack. So uh, I could have restored it but it wasn't hurting me in here to have no life support. Not until I got down onto the planet was it getting the alert signal. All right, bunch of words in this one. That's great. Oh, was that a word signal as well? That lit up. Neat. I think we might be on the last one with warp cells. There's not very many of them that have warp cells. Uh, I know the word and, and of, and the, but that's about it. Not a lot for context. I call it the Atlas, because, isn't it? That's a name. See, Stones of the Atlas, you know, we... silly text. <laughs> okay, so we got two of these recipes now, and I didn't make them yet. Let's do that real quick. That's what we're carrying around this stuff for still. Uh, this one takes... No, we don't want to make more of those. We want to make these ones. Two of those, and then the yellow ones. Two of those. Okay, perfect. And then... Uh, well, I don't know what's next. Well, I mean, I, if I had perfect recall, I could remember, but I do not. But we'll find out very shortly when we head to the next station. This isn't taking too, too long. Even while visiting the stations, I'm not getting distracted by planets that are having storms like this one, but I'm not scanning. Oh no, I scanned it. And uh, we're heading on to the next one. It's an abandoned desert. Okay, how far away is this one? 200? Oh yeah, see, two jumps, or maybe even three. Is that a really short jump at the end? No, okay, just two. Oh, out of fuel. All right, well, good thing we picked up those uh, warp cells. Let's just drop all five in there. Doesn't get us all the way full because we have so much uh, efficiency. All right, let's give that another try. Three hundred and thirty three light years away. Oh, I didn't check how many stars it was. Well, we'll find out soon enough. It doesn't take too long to warp. Fortunately, I wish I had a bit more of the rams, so this would take even less time, but them's the brakes. One day maybe. Three planets, medium supply again, alright. I think we do have to get the data injection signal still. Okay, another milestone. Excellent, excellent. Yeah, data injection and uh, the mission progression symbol down at the bottom corner. Yeah, there we go. Great. Uh, another thing I could do is, you know, warp to a different part of space before I progress this mission further. After this, it might. Uh, put us back on the purge mission. We might be signaled on it right now. Ooh, look at that one. It's like an atlas lit up, but all cracked and broken. Cool. And 
I couldn't get a good look, but I don't think I saw the glowing orbs that represent the, uh... Oh, is this another chromatic effect? Ooh. Or is this just the atlas lit up all red? Hmm. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot more of the orbs as we go. I'm not sure if that's how it's supposed to go or not. I thought it was supposed to decrease as you went. Not oh, one in there. Oh, that's really loud. What is that? A storm? A storm on a planet? Oh, well, I hope that's not too loud on the recording. So it's not just storms being too loud that they gotta fix. They gotta fix storms playing on space stations and derelict freighters and other places that they shouldn't be playing. But I'm sure they'll get on that. Uh, if you report these bugs as you see them to the Zen desk, uh, hello, uh, I can't remember the exact link. I'll try to put it in the in the description if I remember. Just describe the bug you're seeing, like that you're hearing a space station on the Atlas station, for example. A storm? Did I say station? Whatever. Here. All right, any left up on the top? No, okay. Fear one, yeah, all right, okay. I was right, the last one was the last one with warp cells. Something, something you are. See, if I went and spent a bunch of time doing those planet uh, stations, getting all the riddles right, You'd learn an atlas word in each one. You could get a lot of this understood as you went instead of having to rely on finding these, the words on the atlas stations, because you're only going to get about three or four words per station, if that. So you're definitely not going to be able to understand the first couple of stations fully. And I don't know if you get to go through these again. I know you get to do the atlas sequence again because it comes up, but I don't know if you get to learn more words, so you're going to have to learn them on the planets eventually anyway. Alright, one more idea that I have here is to remember this each time. Two of those, green, dark matter, neat. Uh, and make a safe game. There we go. I think we got time for one more. Hopefully it's a three-star station again. Maybe we'll just take a break of uh, worrying about three-star stations and, and visit something anyway. We could land on a planet. That won't capture. Uh, that won't capture a uh, teleporter receiver, as far as I know. So we're going up. Ooh, nice swing on that. It's like directly above us. A little bit behind, maybe. Okay, no, not that version. There we go. Nope, two stars again. Corvax. Alright. No big deal. What I might do is just off camera, in between episodes, is go to visit an old uh, system that I've been to a space station of. By warping back. And, uh, yeah, just talk to a couple aliens. Because we only need a few to gain a couple milestones. And should get us all the ones we need to get us to the 80 points. Might have to kill a couple sentinels. We'll see. Uh, data injection, though. Don't, don't forget that. Alright. Excellent. We have nine more warps to do, looks like. No, nine? No. Eleven more warps to do. I wish I knew how many more Atlas stations we have to do. Oh, is this the creepy one with the floating bodies? I think it is. 
Yep, it sure is. I think this is unanimously voted creepiest Atlas station. staring at them like that. <laughs> Alright, let's hurry up and grab these words. Maybe there's more dots per atlas station, but you learn less words? Is that how it works? I hope not. <laughs> Be nice if there was ways to learn these words beyond just the uh, the riddles and the I wish I could remember what they're called. Uh, it's a place on planets where there's the three knowledge stones surrounding one big thing where you talk to it and you uh, answer a riddle. It identifies a portal for you. Oh great, there we go. More knowledge from words learned or milestones. Great. Jeez, missed a whole section here. A whole bunch. And of course, there's no words on them. Ha! Jinxed it into it being a word. Oh, it looks like I am consuming life support. Just on a slow rate. Return. See, oh, I'm learning lots of words here, so I don't think it's slowing down. Looks like it's speeding up. Time. <laughs> speeding up again. Coincidences abound when you're looking for them. Creepy. What do you have to say, Atlas? Anything I understand? Something no purpose. I just learned the word purpose and time. Interesting. How many do we need now? What rig? rank are we at? 50? 60? Kepler. I can't remember what that one is. Dawn's End. Okay, chromatic metal. So now I think after this we're going to start needing the cadmium and such. I think that's how it works. Or did these ones? No, no that, that was just regular iron stuff. Right. Rightio. Okay. There we go. But until next time, everybody, have a good time. <laughs>